we are going live. I know you guys are very excited about this with the gorgeous Jenna and Val very soon. So I can't wait. Hello. Hi, how, are how are you? I'm good. Hello. <laughs> there he is. Hello. Found him. <laughs> well, he's having to sit on this like weird ottoman thing. So we're making it work. We're like, yeah, I love it. How are you guys doing? Good, good. We're good. You know. Amazing. Yeah, as good as we can be, right? Yeah. Okay. So I collected some questions for you guys from Instagram. They are all over the place, and I'm excited to dive in. So I will not take my shirt off. Start. <laughs> that was a question, but I didn't put it down on the list. Okay, good, good, Thank good. you. Um, where were each of you born, and where did you grow up dancing? Ooh. Um, I was born actually in California. Um, a lot of people don't know that, but I was born in California, but I grew up dancing in Utah. Um, I went to a studio called Center Stage Performing Arts. You know, that little studio. That little studio. Of them. Um, yeah, studio of the year, actually. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's where I grew up dancing. Loved it. Um, and I ended up somehow in Los Angeles. So amazing. My story. I was uh, born in Odessa, Ukraine, <laughs> which is on the other side of the planet. Uh, former Soviet Union, for those that studied that in history. Anyway, I yeah. was in Ukraine. I moved to Brooklyn, New York when I was eight with my family. We immigrated. And um, the studio I grew up dancing in. So my, I have an older brother, Max. People, I don't know if people are familiar. He's six years older. And when he was 16 years old, 17 years old, so he was 14 when we came here. And at 16, um, it's not a family thing. None, none of my parents danced. Uh, but he had started dancing earlier in Ukraine. It was like a big thing to do ballroom dancing. Mm -hmm. uh, so when we moved to America, uh, he was assisting at a local, like, small ballroom dance school. And uh, he came home one day and was, like, you know, was, was upset. And my dad was like, hey, why don't we just open up our own dance school? And so at 17, uh, my, my dad had nothing to do with dance. He supported Max, and they opened up a, a kids' dance, ballroom dance school, strictly ballroom, nothing else. That's amazing. And uh, I'm a product of that school. So I would say uh, the name of the school is called Rising Star Dance Academy, and uh, we were open for 15 years, I think. We've, you know, And again, it was strictly ballroom, and... My ballroom career, I think, you know, that that's where it happened and that's where yeah. I did most of my stuff. Very cool. I did not know that. Um, so, Val, you kind of just answered this, but how did you each start training in ballroom? Uh, just against my will, mostly. Um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, uh, I, again, you, you know, again, when you have a sibling, I, when you have an older sibling that's in that, you, you kind of, I mean, you either gravitate to it or you gravitate away from it. So right. I, I gravitated towards it. Uh, they, they, you know, we, we didn't have too many resources. And so my parents kind of, they were busy working. So they didn't want me getting in trouble. And I, I was definitely prone to getting in trouble when I was younger. So they were like, look, you're going to dance with, with Max. And, and, and so that's how I kind of uh, got into it. But again, I, I, I think I stuck with it because I... I I, I had a charm about it and, and, and boy dancers are such a rare commodity, especially in ballroom dancing. And so yeah. uh, I, I was recruited heavily and I, <laughs> I maybe at a young age, I, I enjoyed the attention for whatever it is. I, I wasn't necessarily that great yeah. to, to begin with, but I had a great smile and that went a long way. Amazing. Um, so I actually grew up doing ballet and jazz and hip hop, all of that. I was kind of cross trained. And then I think when I was, probably like 10 ballrooms started to become big at our studio. Um, we had people like Louis Van Amstel and Julianne Huff that were already doing ballroom there, but that's when I kind of fell in love with it. And I remember watching, they did, they put on a performance and I remember watching Julianne doing ballroom and I was just like, I need this. I need a heel. I need a ballroom heel. I need a I sassy it. dress. I need my hair down. I need to like whip it. And I just fell in love. So I actually cross trained through until I graduated high school. So one weekend I would be at Jump or Nuvo or 24 seven. The next weekend I'd be at a big ballroom competition. And I did that for years. So, but I, I absolutely love all of the styles, but yeah. ballroom does have a very special place in my heart. So I love it. Yeah. Very cool. Um, how did you two meet? 
<laughs> we met on the set of Dancing with the Stars. Um, season 18, I will never forget. This was 2013, I believe. And I was the only new person that joined the cast that season. So I was the only newcomer, and I showed up <laughs> for our very first rehearsal with Mandy Moore, actually. She was running the rehearsal. And I walked in, and one of the first people I saw was this guy. Well, she was partnered, actually, with my brother. Yeah, Mandy. My brother put, was on the show. Mandy partnered me with Max, and he was just being very funny and very... <laughs> well, tell him what he said. He just basically was like, who are you? And I was just like, oh, okay, this stop, guy. Stop, No, he was, he was nice, but he was like politely asked her, hey, who are you standing in for? And she was like... I was like, I'm no actually one. on the She's show. like, I'm here. Okay, so <laughs> exactly. I'm like, me. But, you, we, you know, we cut him some slack. Like, he, she was new, right? We, we didn't see right. her before, so... Anyways. And then we had a partner <laughs> switch. Yeah, and then Mandy was like, you know what, Jenna, go with Val. And then... The rest is history. So, so yeah. we can pretty much chalk this all up to Mandy Moore. Even in our oh, wedding yeah. ceremony, we, we mentioned Mandy as a big part of us. Sending us together. <laughs> Mandy, That's amazing. Mandy Moore, Mandy Moore, like I said, my dance history is, is very limited to ballroom dancing. I mean, I'm, on, on a very high level, I, I'm very proud of that. You know, I've accomplished, you know, we're not going to get into it. I've accomplished it, but I have no experience in any other style. And so when I joined the show, uh, Mandy Moore, I, I you know, I'm I'm gonna attribute uh, every everything I know uh, in in other styles and my performance on television in general. You know, as a yeah. ballroom dancer, I, I'm a competitive ballroom dancer. I didn't have a lot of experience on stage. These were like makeshift stages. You know, I danced in like Russian restaurants and, and little little gigs here just to make some money. But um, for the most part, a competitive ballroom dancing looks very different from any of the convention stuff that we see or or hollywood in general yeah, TV you know? set so she right. taught me how to find camera and not look crazy uh <laughs> you know she taught me how to perform you know jazz intricacies or, or hip-hop intricacies like, like i said i'm not an expert in any of those by by any stretch of the imagination but she allowed my dancing to uh develop a lot further than just being a strictly ballroom dancer and, uh, you know, so I, 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 I look at Mandy, Mandy. as, yeah, she's, she's I love like, that. Like she actually did one of my first solos when I was, I think, 12. She did a jazz solo for me. Um, and then, like Val, she just kind of mentored me and kind of guided me through, first it was conventions and competition life, and then it was on So You Think You Can Dance, and then Dancing with the Stars. So we love her. Yes. That's amazing. Oh, I love it. Okay. But, but back to the previous question, the first time we met, the thing is, then the first time we met where it was years before at, at a at a US nationals at BYU. A ballroom competition. A ballroom competition which really? you know, your boy was, was dominating in, obviously. And uh this this little, you know, this young young princess at the time. Because there is a, 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 a quite a bit of an age gap. There's an age gap. Um, <laughs> she she's met me way before I met her. Let's just say it like that. Okay. She looked at me and she put me on her vision board and, and years later. Oh, did you? Ah, hmm. I see. That's how Interesting. And now, we have, now we have matching pillows. Being dead. I love it. Wait, that's so cute. Oh my God. Okay. What is the best first step to take when starting to learn ballroom? Mm, awesome. Rumble walks. <laughs> Uh, for first of all, uh, not to be literal. No, <laughs> I think too. Day. I think just coming from a competitive world, I think it is very intimidating. Um, it's always intimidating to start something new. Right. But again, and we kind of talked about this when we did Break the Floor Live in our class. There are a lot of crossovers from the other styles that people already know. So I think the more you can strip away the fear of learning something new or looking bad or not being perfect at it, I think there's a lot of things like certain steps are going to cross over and you already know them. Oh, yeah. It's just putting a different texture or adding a hip action or wearing a heel with it, you know? Um, so we've been so excited to see just more people and especially through the conventions learning ballroom. It's so exciting because yeah. it is such a great style. Um, and so I think just don't be afraid to try it and really immerse yourself, you know? And I think something that I've said too, when we were at 24-7 uh, in Birmingham, if you can get a pair of heels, 
get them. If you can wear a Latin skirt, wear it. Just like you would for a ballet class. I have mine. <laughs> you would have ballet shoes on or tights. The more that you look the it's part, you're going to feel the part, and you're going to produce better steps and style. Yeah. Like so, yeah. But, yeah. I, love that. A, I mean, I'm just proud that, you know, introducing ballroom to this uh, versatile student body community at, at Break the Floor, uh, it just gives it so it gives us so much opportunity. These kids will elevate the the, the level of and, and style to a different like out of out of this world. You know that's the truth. I wish I had the foundation and and the capability of ballet and tap and jazz and hip hop and you know all those styles to to place on top of me trying to perfect my style. You know because it would have given me so much more again versatility and range. Uh, and so we're just excited to again let this be part of the curriculum because I know that, you know, there's going to yeah. be one kid in the audience is going to gravitate towards it and, 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 and be the next, you know, on dancing with the stars and the next beyond dancing with the stars, beyond dancing with the stars, you know, Derek Huff's success is because he has that range. He, yep. he grew up in, in that studio at that center stage and he had all of that background and he wasn't one of the best. I mean, we've competed, with one another for a long time. We know each other for a long time. And, uh, you know, he's somebody that had that uh, foundation of ballet and jazz and, and, and all of that stuff, theater. And he was and he was just starting out with ballroom and he wasn't that successful in ballroom competitions. And then he got into ballroom, like really focused in on that and just skyrocketed. So again, his foundation is what allowed him to be one of the greatest dancers of our generation because of that. And. Uh, you know, I, I, I see a lot of those kids in these conventions. Very cool. Yeah, I love that. Okay, what is your guys' favorite ballroom style to teach and your favorite ballroom style to dance? I love teaching samba because I think it is super groovy and so much fun. And I think people just starting out with ballroom, I think they can really resonate with it and feel it a bit more and aren't as intimidated because it's a bit more grounded and a bit more free. Um, so I love samba. I love dancing like a very sexy Argentine tango, especially with foul. I love that. So that'll probably be my favorite. Love it. What was the question? What's your favorite style <laughs> to teach? <laughs> um, what, what's my favorite style to teach? Uh, it's tough. I mean, I, I, I love, I love the sambas and the salsas, you know, because again, the, the, the chachas, the music is relatable to these kids, right? I mean, music is such a big reason why people yeah. love dance. And so, um, but I'm an old soul, you know, and in ballroom, you know, you, you grow up listening to Latin music, Celia Cruz's and Mark Anthony's and all the incredibly, like just that amazingly passionate Latin, uh, Latin music. Uh, uh, and then the Frank Sinatra's and the jazz that, that complements more of the, the ballroom, the, uh, the fox shots and all that stuff. You know, hip hop songs are, is a genre that I love because I grew up in New York, uh, but it's not a genre that, that you can place ballroom on and, and, and compete with. But again, that's, that's the beauty of dance. It evolves and, and the hybrids. And, and when you do put like, I don't know, like a cha-cha on a hip hop song or a rumba to some like, some like, you know, Southern, I don't know, down South hip hop song, like there's something that comes out of it, you know, yeah. there's, there's a style that comes out. So, uh, but again, I, I, w I want to, with time to start teaching more partner dancing at these conventions because yeah. at the end of the day, that's the magic that I fell in love with. That's what makes me who I am is, is that I have a partner. I am. Well, I think because that's what I makes, partner. Yeah, I think you know? that's what makes Ballroom special, um, too, is people are obsessed with how you can partner and this connection and the chemistry between the two of you. So yeah. I think down the line, we would love to start teaching some partnering classes. And what, and what you can create together, you know, a single body can, can create some incredible things. You can see, you know, what, what kids are capable of in these contemporary routines. Yeah. Uh, but together, two bodies working as one can create movement that's unlike anything else. And so ballroom it does allow for that and, and and hopefully we're going to continue to inspire kids uh to take on ballroom and then slowly we'll create a, a you know a, a syllabus that can include partner dancing in these classes but i yeah. i love to teach all styles to be honest i i just love the fact that i 
uh, I, I am in a position to to help inspire, educate beyond just dance, you know? And that's the thing that, that's so special about Break the Floor is that I, I, I want to teach kids how to be great human beings beyond just great dancers. I love that. Those are great answers, you guys. Um, okay, do you have any funny stories from Dancing with the Stars? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> how much time oh, we got? Um, no, let's see, a funny one. Well, I did, um, I won one time. <laughs> I won with my partner and it was the finale night where we were competing to win this title. Um, and I actually, this would happen to me sometimes when I was competing as a kid, but I actually peed my pants right before we went on. No uh -huh. joke. Yeah, my partner was Adam Ripon at the time and I was so nervous right before we were gonna do our freestyle. It was the last dance before we were gonna find out who the winner was. And I was so nervous that I full on peed in my costume. So. <laughs> For those of you that ha that happens, you know it's totally You're not alone. normal. <laughs> You're not alone. I was so nervous for her. I might have peed in my pants. <laughs> right. It's so funny. It's so funny because uh... I have, you know, I I got a chance to win the world championships when I was 15, and uh, my partner's mom uh, fainted and, and peed herself. She was so happy. So, there you go. Um, so you know, it, it happens. It happens. We have it on camera too. Maybe <laughs> yeah. on my social one time. No, for real. Like, for real. That's not. a real story. And I, 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 I'm sorry, Diana, that I had to share that about you. <laughs> uh, it really happened. On Dancing oh with my the God. Stars. Funny stories on Dancing with the Stars. Uh, I think I, I don't know. I think I ripped my pants at some some point on one of the performances. One time he did a pasta doble and a speedo. Yeah, that was. Pretty funny, not for yeah. everybody. But I, I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, those are great. Okay, this one is another relationship question. How many kids do you guys want, and do you think they'll be dancers? If you even want kids, we do want. Well, kids. we have one kid right here. Yeah, we have our little dog, oh, our first born, our fur baby. <laughs> um, we definitely want kids. I don't know how many. I think it depends on how pregnancy goes. So, but Val wants a lot of kids. <laughs> we got ten. Uh, but yeah, we do, we do want kids. I can't wait. I love that. And do you guys think that they will be dancers? <laughs> I think naturally they're probably going to have some interaction yes. with dance. Yes. I want them to explore, but I think definitely. They'll probably be little Something. dancing babies. They, they will it. have dance in their life. And again, as, as a teacher, I, I say that all the time, you know, and to all the parents, like, does it, they, they can be doctors along the way, but doesn't mean that you shouldn't sign your kid up for dance. They'll just right. make a better person. You'll have a better relationship with their bodies. They'll I understand what it's like to sacrifice and work hard. They, they, They'll have, you know, the experience of be, not being socially awkward. Uh, they'll have a range of motion and comfort and, and everything. It's just like there's so many pluses to, to why dance should be part of your kids' upbringing, just like sports, just like the arts. You know, dance encompasses both those worlds in a perfect way. And so, yeah. uh, you know, I want them to be happy. I want them to be healthy. And I want them to be the best version of themselves. And for me, I think, uh, you know, dance being part of that equation, whether they pursue it professionally or not, I think is essential. Amazing. I think that's a great point. Um, okay, last question for you guys. What was your favorite part about teaching on Break the Floor Live? Ah! <laughs> it was so much fun. We, I needed it. It was, just, it was like a beautiful little escape for me, but honestly, I had missed teaching these kids so much and it was crazy the amount I have never in my whole entire life been tagged in so many videos on my story, on my page. Like, I thought my Instagram was going to break. <laughs> I have never seen so many videos, and it just made me so happy. I just want to be with these kids. I want to teach them every weekend, but this was a great way for us to do that. Um, it was awesome. It was epic. The snacks they had in the kitchen, by the way, were made. Those are like one of my favorite parts. He's there for um, the snacks. Val has his priorities straight. No, it's, uh, again, my favorite part was to dance. My favorite part was to share, you know, and my favorite part was to connect. 
those three things. Those were my favorite parts, knowing that there are kids on the receiving end of this uh, experience that need this and, and can right. use this, that there are parents on the receiving end of this that are, are happy that their kids are active and getting education. Uh, and, and I was just, the best part was just being a part of it. That was the best part, is being a part of this family, this community, you know, that that was created here with, with Break the Floor. You know, I, I just want to contribute to that. I know that it's a beautiful community that does a lot of great uh, great stuff for, for kids around not just this country, but the world now, right. Right, which is a beautiful opportunity as well. Um, and yeah, I, I hope I can contribute in, in, in whatever way I can contribute. Well, uh, and, and so that's the best part for me. Amazing. Well, you guys, thank you so much for answering questions with me today. Of it was course. such a treat to see your beautiful faces. Thank you. Stay healthy and safe. Thank you. Same to you guys. We'll see you soon. Hopefully. Yes, I hope so. Thank you. Bye. See you. Bye, Jensen. Awkward. You guys, are they serious? I am obsessed with them. And I mean, they're so funny. And had great things to say, didn't we think?